We've been on a journey for now a number of years, really going back almost a decade, but really accelerating over the last six years to focus Novartis as a pure play innovative medicines company. And over the last six years, we've done over $100 billion of transactions. We exited consumer health to create one of the largest consumer health companies, exited Alcon and the largest public market spin uh, in European capital markets. We exited our Roche stake. Now we spin Sandoz, and what's left now is really what I think Novartis is best suited to succeed in the long run. A pure play, innovative medicines company focused on bringing our R&D uh, efforts and, and the new medicines we create to markets around the world. What is your message to investors about your capital deployment strategy moving forward post spinoff? How do you think about the trade-off between investing in R&D and seeking potential um, acquisitions? And one of the things I think we've learned over these recent years is we want to be very focused in how we think about our investments internally and externally. We've taken the opportunity to focus Novartis around four major therapeutic areas, cardiovascular disease, oncology, uh, neuroscience and immunology some new advanced technology platforms, advanced therapy platforms like cell and gene therapy, radio ligand therapy, and RNA interference. And we're focusing our capital deployment internally on those areas and externally. Our ideal mix of how we think about internal and external innovation is around 60% is developed in-house, 40% externally. And also, I think we've had a very healthy dividend and share buyback approach where we continue to provide a healthy dividend growing in Swiss francs, which won't be rebased with the Sandoz spin. It'll continue where it is. And you, you noted probably over the summer, we had a $15 billion share buyback program really demonstrating our confidence in our long-term growth outlook. What about your businesses outside of those four key therapeutic areas? Um, you've now spun off Alcon, as you said, back in 2019. Uh, Sandoz now in 2023. Are you considering selling any of your other businesses, any further divestments in the pipeline? We feel really good about where we are right now. I mean, one of the things you likely also saw over the summer, we're in the midst now of finalizing a sale of our ophthalmology, front of the eye ophthalmology business to Bausch & Loam that will exit us really out of most elements of ophthalmology other than retinal disease in, I think, very targeted places. We've exited other areas. We exited our recently our collaboration with Beijing. I think right now we're in the right spot. We've got the right TAs the right footprint, the right setup. You saw in quarter two, really strong growth for the company, high single digit sales growth, high double digit core operating income growth. We've raised guidance now twice this year. So I think the setup now is in the right spot organizationally and from a therapeutic area standpoint.